All right, it's your boy Fountain Diver, and we're gonna make a from scratch tutorial how to play Mipu, which means I will I will show you what the keys are. You know how you have to use your um, keyboard and everything. And this video is gonna be quite short since I'm not gonna play a game. I'm not. I'm barely even gonna touch in game. Uh, strategies I would just in this part one video I'm just gonna set up if you wish like a little educational uh, streak or a little educational um, uh, tips and tools on how you could play Mipo or whatever you want okay so and I will go from scratch so it's gonna be a little more detailed than many other videos that I found on this material okay so um, this is how I align my keyboard. You can just pause it here. I'm going to show the most important ones. This is German, so I will explain what is relevant. The very few, so this is um, E, R, these two kind of don't matter. I only skilled them, um, the Geo Strike, and the, in order to, when I level up, to quick decide which one, you know, when I level up. Let's just go. When I level up one level, that I can just auto select with E or V that for example like I, that's the only reason why I have these you don't need to have this but E and R and most importantly select next unit from the um, current group control group that you have with W and this has makes me have W E and R these three fingers are the are the relevant fingers okay so if I press W now I will select the next unit in my control group right now I have only one Mipu ergo I'm only able to select him but as you can see it switches something right so mm, the next one is that I am select the hero is uh, on one you don't have to have it one one I know a lot of people have one two three four five six or something in their inventory pack and I kind of have that little unique with this <coughs> I, um, you don't have to have this this way but definitely you have to have this this is one select the one and this what this is going to do is it is going to pick your first Mipu. We call this the main Mipu. You're going to have like a couple more later. Let's just level it up a little bit so 10 is enough. So th this is the main Mipu. This is a secondary Mipu. If I skill one more time, I will have another secondary Mipu. Okay. So if I press now the one, it will only select every single time the first Mipu, the, the main Mipu. All right. This is on these three bars, it's the one and the most on top. And if I select all my Mipus, it's the one on the left here. This is the main Mipu. Now, second relevant button is select all own units. If I press the two, I will have all my Mipus here. Let's say I, I'm, I'm with my screen here on a wave and I select two. I will have them here. If I press it only one time, I will have, let's say I click on the creep to check its health. I press the two and I have all my Mipus. If I double click the two, I will be located back to where the main Mipu is, which means, for example, if the main Mipu is not nearby to the other ones, the camera will fixate on him. So let's say I just check the enemy tower and I want to select my all my units. I press 2, I double press 2, it will go on the first Mipu, not on the other ones. It's quite relevant now. Um, another one, this again, you have to, uh, I do it before and after every game that I switch this to top or as it is on default or on W as I have it for Mipu. So a Mipu game always makes me this. This is the next one. This is stop current action, for example. Did I just? No, I didn't. I hope I didn't just switch anything. Anyway, we'll find out. So if I, let's for example, walking and I press S, it'll stop the walking. If I poof and I press S before it finished poofing, it will also, yeah. Okay, stop that. So it's very relevant in order to have more control over the units and you have to just have to do it. Um, also, you go quick cast with Mipu. I would not know how you do not quick cast with Mipu, right? Shopping with D, you can have shopping wherever you want. It's just one. Okay, so S is very relevant. Now, we pretty much have everything we need. Um, auto attack, turn off, turn on. That's kind of good for Mipu, but I, I think you have that on other heroes too. Okay, now, and uh, oh yeah, that's the last one that we need. This for the following is them select all other units except your main. Okay, and and for Mipu that means if I press the three now, it I will select all other units which are these. If I had let's say Manta style and I would have illusions, let's just pick buy one, Manta, 
and just melt her up real quick and I press now the 3 then I will select all other units except the first meeple. As you can see there is no circle around him, I have not selected him. If I walk with all other units it's kind of sucky sometimes if you have Manta with Meepo because these um, you can you can do much with these there okay but it's it's not a big problem so um, these so I have three control groups and I don't have more even okay that's really it that's all like that's all you don't need macros you don't need programming you don't need a lot okay so if I I'm, I'm going with the first Meepo here already. And then I press the other Meepos, I can just double click them so I'm immediately fixing it here. Now I want to see what my main Meepo is doing. I can just walk with him. The secondary Meepos, let's just say they they need to farm this creep. I let them farm and I just go on the one. And yeah, that's pretty much the first thing you need to set up for Meepo. You don't have to have these control groups on one, two and three like I have, but I really suggest you have them they're just really beneficial on this meepo all right so that's it for this video in the next video i will show you the first combos and i will just it, it will just for you be literally the same so i hope uh, you enjoyed the video hope you learned a lot and for comments of obviously i'm open